Now the first color that I'm going to use is the cream bees. Um, it's kind of a like an ivory pinky white color. Can't really see the pink tone. It probably just looks really white on the screen. Um, it has a bit of a like a pearly sheen to it. And I'm going to use the same matte 242 brush to apply it. And I'm going to apply it all over the lid. Also the inner corner. And then the brow bone. I'm not going to put on the crease because I don't want that area to be really shimmery. Then I'm going to contour my crease using MAC Texture Eyeshadow. Um, similar to Soft Brown but it's a little bit darker and it has a, um, like a satin finish and a little bit more like an orangey kind of warm brown. And I'm going to use the Smashbox number 10 brush to apply. It's just a fluffy crease brush. And I'm going to place it in the center of my crease and just blend it back and forth. I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on the inner corner, so I'm going to kind of bl blend it downwards a little bit. And then for the outer um, corner of the crease, I'm just going to kind of blend it out and just buff it out into um, a little bit onto like the brow bone area. Then with my MAC 222 brush, I'm going to use MAC Swiss Chocolate Eyeshadow. It's a matte um, kind of muted reddish brown. It's really pretty. I used this um, from the MAC uh, lesson that I took. And I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of the crease and the outer corner. So for the inner corner, I'm going to start right here, kind of where your brow starts. And just kind of blend it back and forth. Kind of blend it down a little bit onto the lid. And if you have um, close set eyes, doing this technique may not be best for you because it'll just kind of make your eyes a little bit even more closer. Um, I mean, you can still do it, but maybe you know apply a little bit more of the um, like a shimmery highlight for the inner corner, so it adds some light. But um, if you you know if you have more far apart eyes. Um, then you know maybe this technique can be you know work for you. It'll help to kind of center your eyes a little bit. Then for the outer corner of the crease, I'm just gonna do it how like I usually do. I'm gonna start at the very corner of the kind of lid and crease area and just apply it in a circular motion. It kind of bends a little bit onto the lid. And then I'm going to kind of pull that color up into the crease so it connects to where we apply the um, inner part of the crease color. Now I want to darken and create a little bit more depth for the outer corner of my crease and lid. And so I'm going to use MAC eyeshadow in Foley. And it's similar to the Swiss chocolate eyeshadow but it's a little bit more um, like a reddish plum brown color, a little bit darker, and I'm going to use the Chanel brush number 3 to apply it, and it's kind of like a big pencil brush, a little bit um, more denser than, you know, other crease brushes, and so I'm going to just apply it to the outer corner of the lid, kind of right on top where we apply the Swiss chocolate, and I'm going to kind of pat it and blend it inwards, or we'll just blend it in a circular motion so that it blends onto the lid a little bit. I'm not going to really apply it in the crease. I just want it to darken just at the outer corner. Now I'm going to do my highlight colors and I'm going to use this shimmery iridescent kind of a pinky peach white color. It's really pretty. It just has a really subtle highlight. And I'm going to use the MAC 239 brush to apply it. And so for the brow bow, I'm just going to pat it right under the brow. Then I'm going to apply it to the inner corner. Then I want to highlight the center of the lid just a little bit, so I'm going to use this uh, shimmery kind of peachy pink color. Um, can't really see the color; it looks a little bit washed out on camera. But um, I'm going to use the same brush, uh, the Mac 239, and just pat it on the center of the lid, and just kind of lightly blend it outwards and inwards careful not to go onto the dark color too much. Now I'm going to do the top liner and I'm going to use the um, dark brown cream eyeliner that's in the Shiseido palette. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it and I'm going to use the MAC 263 brush to apply it and when I 
you know, use, um, pick up the color in the palette. I kind of scrape with my brush. You can see that. So that um, it's coated evenly, evenly on the both sides of the brush. And it'll help to kind of uh, flatten the brush a little bit more so you can get a more, you know, cleaner line. And I'm just going to do a regular line for the top liner. You know, you can be as fancy as you want if you want it thick or winged out, you can go ahead and do that. And for the top inner rim, I'm going to use a black waterproof eyeliner pencil. And for the bottom waterline, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eye Pencil in 23L and it's a shimmery champagne color. And on top of the champagne eye pencil, I'm going to use the same color that I applied on the lid. And I'm going to use the same brush, just the tip of the brush, and just pat it right on top. And you can use the um, highlight colors, you know, if you want instead to make it a little bit more brighter. But um, I like this kind of peachy pink color. Um, makes it a little bit more subtle. And for the bottom liner, I'm going to use MAC Liquid Last Eyeliner in Cocoa Bar. And it's a dark brown. Um, there's no shimmer in it. And I'm going to not use the um, applicator that comes with it. It's just a fine um, eyeliner brush. But I'm actually going to use a, a MAC 211 brush. It's um, kind of like a pencil brush, similar to uh, the MAC. 219. And so I'm just going to take the brush and pick up the product with it. Just like that. Just kind of coat the tip. And then I'm just going to smudge it along the lash line. Not on the inner rim, but just close to the lash line as possible. Just kind of work it back and forth. And this is going to be my um, liner base. Then before the eyeliner sets, I'm going to use the medium kind of shimmery brown color that's in the Shiseido palette. And I'm going to use a MAC 219 brush. And right below um, where the liquid eyeliner is on the edge, I'm just going to apply that brown color just to soften the liner and kind of just make it a little bit soft, uh, like a smoky effect. And if you want to make that line a little bit darker, you can use the color that you use on the outer corner of your lid and crease and just smudge that closer to the lash line just to create a little bit more depth and it's just, you know, not all shimmery on the lower lash line. Now I just want to take a minute to talk about this MAC Liquid Less Eyeliner. It's one of my new favorite products that I've tried in a really long time. And the reason is this eyeliner really stays on really well, um, especially for the lower lash line. For me, you know, I've tried so many different eyeliners from, you know, gel eyeliners to waterproof pencils, everything. And it always... It just smudged off or flaked off. During my MAC lesson, um, Heidi uh, suggested using this liquid eyeliner. It just it really stayed on um, for the first time. Like, it just didn't move. And um, so I've been using this for, you know, a while. I have uh, three other colors, black, um, a plum, and like a bright teal color. And it's just a really great, like, liner base for me. So and if you have issues with... Um, you know, eyeliner not staying on, then I would definitely recommend trying this and, you know, see if it'll work for you. I'm going to show you a new technique in getting a really clean brow shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually dampen my uh, brow brush. This is Shurimura's. And I'm going to just dampen with my MAC Fix Plus. Just one spritz is enough. And I'm going to just, um, lightly blot any of the excess um, water on the back of my hand so it's damp but not uh, you know, soaking wet. And then I'm going to pick up the brow color. This is MAC, um, a MAC eyeshadow. And just kind of dip it in there just a little bit. And then what you want to do is, um, because it's damp, the, it'll help to kind of um, intensify the color and make it a little bit more of a clean line. So I'm going to kind of outline my brow shape. Kind of stand in the middle, like near the arch. And I'm also going to do the top where the arch is and then the bottom and just make short uh, quick lines little like little dashes